Hi, welcome to my channel, Car Projects. Today I want to talk about what you should not do ever, and that is buy eBay parts. Now sometimes you do it because you want to save a few bucks, maybe you're in a hurry, or just because you have no other option, and you end up going to eBay and buy a part, and it turns out that, you know, the part is defective or it just doesn't work. So let me tell you what happened. So I'm working on my OA Mitsubishi Lancer. This is the clock spring that I need to replace. Because every time I turn on the steering wheel, um, the little buttons on the side stop working. So I ended up buying one. I went to the dealer. The dealer said that they didn't have it. The, they couldn't find it. Um, then they said that they would find it, but it was going to be over a hundred dollars. So I got the part number, I cross referenced it, and he told me it was going to be this part number right here. This I ordered on eBay, and it was ten dollars. I should have known it was ten dollars, but I ordered it anyway. So I came, I compared it, everything was the same, but the first thing that I noticed was that this right here did not line up at the same place. I don't know how important that is, but uh, the connectors were the same. Okay, but here, here's the thing though. The connectors on the back. Okay, so on the original one that I bought, um, not that I bought, the original one I have, Right here in the inside, and I don't know if you can tell, but let me see. Right there on the inside. Okay, you can tell, and I hope you can. I'll, I'll load some pictures in case you can see it, but right there, you can tell there is like a little notch on the very, um, go on the very top. Okay, on the new one. That notch right there is huge and I hope that you guys can tell but I'll take a picture but you see so the clip wouldn't go in uh, another thing to notice is the craftsmanship on this is horrible you can tell right away just by looking right now that this side right here it looks crooked the little pinks they look crooked like this well, on the original one you know they're, they're straight right there Okay. Same with the pins over here on this side. You know, they're pretty straight. Not on the new one. Okay. They're all crooked and messed up. So that right there tells you the quality of this. Uh, it's very upsetting because I really wanted to finish my, my car and have it ready for the weekend. But it's not going to work. I ended up calling a dealer, but this time I call another dealer since um, down in the LA area here in Cali. So I ended up calling that dealer and they were able to tell me that they will find the new one, brand new, but it was going to be $70. So I am okay with that. I mean, if it's going to be the original, it's going to have the right connectors here and it's going to fit, then definitely I am willing to pay the extra. But I just want to warn you guys that maybe it might seem like it's a good, like a very good deal to buy something on eBay. While they are identical, same parts and everything. I mean, everything is just very, very well made. I said they were very well made, but I meant to say they look very well made, but they're not. They just look identical. Over there. Let me try to get some more light. Yeah. Look, see. And they're all crooked and stuff. And not compared to this. It's straight. Also, um, another thing worth noting. Okay. Another thing worth noting is the this is heavier 
also the, the plastic as compared to this. This is very light and cheap. Um, I, if you guys ever see videos and stuff, they always tell you, go oh, yeah, EM on this kind of parts. And you definitely should because this controls your airbag sensor and you know you don't want it not to work and i just thought that i actually got a genuine part it's a genuine oe part but when i got it, it definitely wasn't a genuine OE part this is the original okay and it was 10 bucks so i was trying to get the money back he, he's being an ass about it saying no not really but it is what it is it is ten dollars but hopefully i am yeah, able to get it back but yeah be careful uh, even if, if, when you look up online on eBay, if it says it's OE part, it doesn't necessarily mean it's OE. As you can see, this was supposed to be OE, but it's not. And it feels cheap compared to this one. It's like, I wish you guys can see, touch them. It's a, that's a difference. So, yeah, that's what happened. Anyways, hope this helps people. Hope, uh, you know do your research and try to avoid ebay when it's coming to buy sensors and stuff like that um they might this might be uh this is the original they probably got the original of this and just slapped it into another one that's probably what it is and they called it oe now i know that supposedly this can be rebuilt i'm not gonna try to rebuild it because i don't know how that works or anything but I know some people do rebuild it and I'll upload the video where I'm getting the part because now I gotta wait like almost a week before the part gets here so I'm not gonna have a car for a week but yeah, it should serve me as a lesson just because I pay less just because it seemed like a good deal doesn't necessarily mean and you guys will see a lot of people when they're working on cars or anything really like rcs or even home things and they buy stuff from ebay you know it happens unfortunately just because it says it's oe just because it says it's genuine does not mean it is and that's very very sad but at the same time it comes with the territory of buying on ebay so yep again Click like, subscribe, and I'll upload the video pretty soon on how to change it as soon as I get the other part. It's going to the trash. Thank you.